Yo, I could not be more excited about today's adventure. I am somewhere on the Louisiana and Tejas border, and I'm about to be paddling and fishing through a cypress forest. Um, I cannot wait. It is eerily beautiful out here, like with all the Spanish moss and the cypress trees. I am on Caddo Lake. Currently, I'm on the Texas side of the border. Stayed last night on the Louisiana side of the border at a small camp, which was awesome. Um, and yeah, so let's get this started. Let me show you guys how beautiful this is. And oh, quickly, I have to say a shout out, big shout out to Robin at Old Mossy's Upriver, the owner of Old Mossy's Upriver. She is the fine young lady who got us outfitted to come out here and do this little adventure today. Um, she's been incredibly hospitable, incredibly accommodating of us, and just super, super friendly. So if you um, watch this video and you think, good grief, that's beautiful, and look at those awesome fish Justin's catching, I really wanna go do that. Um, make sure and give Old Mossy's a chance. Just Google them, Old Mossy's Upriver, and give them a chance at your business. And uh, yeah, gotta, gotta throw that in there, cause like when you meet awesome people, like awesome people deserve credit. So yeah, let's get moving now and let me show you how awesome this is. Currently making my way down Big Cypress Bayou towards the old river um, trails and one of the lakes that forms the backwater. Um, Big Cypress Bayou is one of the one of the water sources that helped to create Caddo Lake. And um, yeah, we're kind of working our way down the main channel of that now to go hit our paddle trails that we're wanting to check out today. I've just found an awesome little backwater. Check this out. This is Benton Lake off of Big Cypress Bayou. And I am about to explore the you know what out of this and fish it as well. Like, this is so cool. Like, look at this. There's a turtle. What I'm really hoping to see is an alligator. Because they are here. And there he goes. Actually, what I'm hoping to see is Bigfoot. Because there have been multiple Bigfoot sightings. Big feet, big footin', big Mises, moose, moose and mice, mice, moose and moose. Anyway, there's been, bi you know what? No, you know what I really want to see? I want to see Bigfoot strangling an alligator with a water moccasin because it doesn't get any more Louisiana than that. Or actually we're in Texas, but Texas, that'd be a Texas thing too, I feel like. Benton Lake. Um, I'm not having any luck with the fishes, but I feel pretty confident people from this area that um, know how to catch the fish in this area or had time to do the research before they came, which I didn't after working approximately 1.3 trillion hours last week. Um, it's like, it's like fisherman's paradise up in here. And more so than that, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Floating up under all the Spanish moss. Cypress knees everywhere, which there aren't any right behind me. There's some right here next to me. Like, surrounded by... Yeah, this is um pretty darn magical. Loving this. A correction is in order. Um, we were actually in Stumpy Lake a while ago. Um, I kind of misread the map on that. 
Now I'm moving into Benton Lake. Um, and it is maybe even more beautiful than Stumpy Lake was. Take a look. This is actually Benton Lake now, um, and it is expansive, and God, it looks like the fishing is amazing. It's a shame I'm not very good at fishing here. Um, I should have done more research before I came, um, as far as fishing goes. Um, but yeah, the paddle trails are really cool. Like, they're actually marked out. I want to show you here how the paddle trails are marked um, through the, uh, the different rivers and the backwaters and stuff. You can see there on that tree, there's a red marker. And further in the distance, you probably can't see it on camera, but I can see another red marker in the distance on another tree. It's got a little paddle and an arrow. It shows you which way the trail goes. So um, it's just like a trail marker on a hiking trail. It's just on the paddling trail, and that's really cool. I'm going to paddle on back in here a little further again, and we're going to try to get some photography going on because, like, this is... So beautiful. Yeah. Just look back up in here. That is that's just absolutely beautiful. This is pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to wrap my brain around what this is. I'm assuming, with thought, I'm assuming this is like maybe a duck blind because, you know, it's built on cypress trees, so it clearly wasn't, and it's made of metal. But there's steps back here. I guess you would maybe anchor a flat bottom, a John boat, go up there and it'd be a duck blind. I don't know, but it's really interesting and the, the idea of trying to build that in the middle of a lake from a boat, because I can't see any other way you would build that, that's, well, it's curious, let's say, okay. Um, that's really cool, though. I'm so tempted, except I don't think I could get back in this kayak without, without capsizing myself. Hmm. Really cool. Guys, I know more than half of this video is literally just pictures of our video of me gliding through this cypress forest. But I mean, look at it. Can you blame me? Just paddled out of the mouth of Benton Lake back onto the bayou. And gonna start back towards Ole Mossy's upriver. I'm gonna start back upriver. Maybe some more explorations to be done. Maybe not. We'll see. It's getting a little bit later in the day. And, um, yeah. But we're transitioning now out of Benton Lake to whatever the next thing is. Okay, so we are going to start back up. One of the two, I believe it's the other end of the Old River to Second Old River Trail. I'm going to start back up in here a little ways and just check it out. It's not getting dark on me yet. Might as well adventure all the adventure I can adventure today. Some really interesting stuff up in these backwaters. Like, I would love to know the story behind this thing behind me. There's four posts around this tree. Actually, I think there's six. It looks like there's a couple out there in the front. A little bit of wire, some nails on the post, and ooh, there's a board across the tree. Let's look at that real quick. I've got that little board there. Like that's so curious. There's some string tied around it. Not, not just been an old trot line tied around it. Yeah, I feel like just where the orientation of these two posts felt like they were, huh? 
It's really interesting. Check out this nest. It's a wasp nest. They look like wasps. I can't tell what kind of wasp. But there's a lot of them. Let's not take them off. Well, I am rolling back into my harbor here, so to speak. Um, it has been an amazing day paddling here on Cattle Lake on the Louisiana and Texas border. Um, guys, these paddling trails that they've put together back here, they're well marked. They're flat water paddle. It's great. It's absolutely beautiful. You get back into some of these lakes and some of the old riverbeds, there's just eerie solitude. It is stunningly beautiful. Um, you guys, you got to come check this out. I mean, this is an easy weekend trip from Dallas, from Little Rock, maybe even Oklahoma City, like just a few hour drive, stay the weekend. There are all kinds of cabins to stay at. There are campgrounds. Um, there's a state park over here, the Cattle Lake State Park on the Texas side. There are so many things and so many. If you have your own kayaks, you can paddle for free. If you have your own canoe, you can paddle for free. Guys, this is something that everyone needs to check out. It is absolutely stunningly beautiful. Um, I really enjoyed today. This has been one of my favorite adventures so far for me personally, anyway. I really appreciate you guys watching. We're going to wrap it up here. I hope that you will subscribe. Please like it. Please share it with your friends. And by all means, say something in the comments. I'd love to talk to you. And uh, yeah, just thanks for watching. And we will catch you guys in the next video. Rocky. The mountaintop awaits. Carry on.